Well, it's a very weak set number coming in from Infosys this time around. The profitability is much lower than expected at 6,130 crore. But look at the top line, the big disappointment coming in there. A constant currency decline of 3.2% on a sequential basis. This compares with the expectation of a growth of half percent. There's a decline to the tune of 3.2%. And this is the first time the company has reported a decline since Q1 of FY21. And that was the quarter which was impacted by the COVID downturn. So a big decline coming in on the top line as well and that uh, you know that disappointment is percolating to the margin level as well the operating margin has come in at 21 percent it's a decline of 50 basis point on a sequential basis the street was working with a number of 21.5 percent so a big miss coming in on revenue miss coming in on the uh, margins as well and consequently your profitability is looking lower having said that the only silver lining if i can pinpoint anything is the fact that deal wins have stayed at 2.1 billion dollar which is broadly in the range of two to two and a half billion dollars that we have seen off late but other than that yes attrition has come off around to the level of 20.9 percent but a big disappointment on all other fronts coming in from emphasis this time around and the management commentary too is not very enthusing you have the comments coming in from mr salil parik as well they're talking about how the year has been go in the gone uh, in the year gone by so they call out that in the entire year of F uh, fi 23 the growth had come in at 15.4 percent which is lower than the guidance of the company because earlier they had upgraded the guidance and the guidance of full year fi 23 was between 16 to 16 and a half percent they've managed to miss the guidance because for FY23 as a whole it seems like the growth has come in at 15.4% which is lower than what the street was expecting. Even if you look at the other internals and the commentary coming in Mr. Salil Parikh talks about how has the environment has changed. They're seeing strong interest from the clients for efficiency and cost consolidation opportunities and the deal pipeline continues to be strong but they're talking about bringing in efficiencies and path to higher margins in the medium term. So the path to higher margins is also expecting not in the immediate term it's not a one quarter blip but it's only in the medium term that they're talking about higher margins coming in as well let's look at the comment coming in from nilanjan roy he's the chief financial officer or uh, chief financial officer he's talking about how the free cash flow generation has been strong and the final dividend has been announced to the tune of 17 and a half rupees but other than that a very very weak set of numbers coming in and i'm sure this won't be taken well by the street at all um, Revenue decline in constant currency terms of around 3.2% uh, is quite stark. And even if you look at the reported revenues of the quarter, it's coming at around 37,441 crores. That, ex that compares with our expectation of 38,850 crores. So there is a miss to the tune of almost 1,000 crores coming in on top line as well. So a big miss across the board coming in from emphasis. The growth guidance for FY24 is what we should talk about as well. The guidance stands at 4 to 7% in constant currency. So it's a broad range that they have given. The top end of the guidance is still okay. But the fact that they've opened up the possibility of a 4% growth in the coming year is again something which is very disappointing. The lowest that the street was expecting uh, for the lower band to be was 5%. The consensus was 6 to 8%. It's come down to 4 to 7%. So uh, the weakness is not only a Q4 uh, phenomenon, it's likely to sustain in FI24 as well. And the operating margin ba ban as well has been brought down to 20 to 22%. Uh, the street was expecting it will be 21 to 22 or at least 21 to 23 also was something that the street was talking about. For now, they are stuck to the guidance of 20 to 22%. Again, uh, extending the lower end of the range, 20% is a possibility for FI24 and that does not augur too well for the company at this point of time. The valuations, yes, have become a bit more comfortable. Infosys is trading at 21, 22 times forward earnings, substantially lower than the 32 times that we had seen last year. But this number will not go well down with the street. My expectation is there'll be large cuts coming in as far as the growth expectation is concerned because street was penciling in a growth of 8%. We know Infosys is a bit conservative when it comes to guidance sometimes as well. But 4 to 7% ban is not something the market is going to take well. Uh, in terms of the other internals, the deal win pipeline has been steady for now. So $2.1 billion is not uh, too much to complain about. But even if you look at the various verticals, we'll have to see where the uh, gap has actually is coming from because TCS pointed out about a weakness in the US business. BFSI, something that they pointed out was rather weak. And for emphasis as well, uh, BFSI forms almost 30% of the revenue. So that remains important to track as well. Uh, other than that, in terms of the other internals, attrition has come down to 20.9%. 
but attrition is no longer a worry for the sector. It's about headcount addition now. It's about how that entire, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, improvement in the supply situation is likely to pan out for margins. But given the guidance of 22 to 22 percent, it doesn't look like that the management is banking big as far as uh, the uh, margin profile improvement is concerned. 